Hi everyone. In this tutorial video, I'll show you how to create an advanced CodeBeamer word export template with references, associations, conditional segments, counters, and messages replacing empty segments. Are you ready? Let's go. Let me first introduce you to the logic of the advanced template we are going to build. First, we'll display fields from the work item, for example, system requirement. Then we'll display field values for upstream references, downstream references, and up or downstream associations. Since we want to execute our template for all the items in our selection, we need to put the whole page in a loop item bookmark. One system requirement may have multiple upstream references, so we need to insert the references, associations, into corresponding looper bookmarks as well. But what happens if the work item has no upstream reference? Well, in that case, we don't want to see the corresponding section. We'll put the upstream reference fields, or the table that contains them, into an if has upstream conditional bookmark. Else, we'll display a message. And then we'll repeat the same process for all other sections. We'll start from a blank Word document and add merge fields one by one. First, the item ID and name. Then I add a header and insert the upstream reference merge fields, item.upstream.id and item.upstream.name. A new header comes next for the downstream references. This time I'll display the information in the table. item.downstream.id item.downstream.name for the description. Next, I'll add the upstream associations in a table item.associationout.type.name and item.assoceout.to.urlkeyid. Then the same for downstream. Downstream associations, association type, and from. Insert merge field item.associationin.type.name and item.associationin.from.urlkeyid. Finally, I make the section headers bold to improve usability. At this point, you may be wondering where do all these field names come from? And most importantly, how do you even know what they are supposed to be? Well, from the knowledge base. Let's head over there quickly. You'll find a link to the relevant article in the description of this video. All the fields and their corresponding bookmarks are listed neatly in order. Everything we'll use in the demo is here references and associations alike. First, I'll add the bookmark for the item loop. It is important that the item loop contains all the tables and bookmarks, so I add two rows with one space each and include them at the end as well. If you miss this step, the item loop bookmark and the last downstream association bookmark end will overlap and the template will throw an error. Because we want to display potentially several references for each work item, we need to insert upstream references into a loop item upstream bookmark. Let's repeat the same for downstream items. This time the bookmark is called loop item downstream. With associations, we distinguish outgoing or upstream associations with a bookmark loop item association out and incoming or downstream associations with a loop item association in bookmark. We can also use bookmarks to hide a section if there's no data in it. I'm going to select the upstream references section with the header included and insert it in a bookmark if has upstream. Let's do the same with the downstream, if has downstream. There's only one conditional for both types of associations, hence I insert it in the if has association bookmark. Among other things, conditional bookmarks 
are defined in a file on your CodeBeamer server in Velocity Script. The location of the file can be found in our knowledge base. I've exported it from the training server into a text file so we can have a look. You can insert if underscore sections in the file that later enable you to write custom bookmarks, for example, to manage incoming and outgoing associations separately. When you do that, it's a smart choice to copy an existing section, for example, the macro for if has association and modify rather than write the whole thing from ground up. You're less prone to errors this way. Keep in mind, all the bookmarks we've used so far only work because and as long as they are defined in here. Messages need to be inserted into the else branch of our statement. If there are no upstream references, let the user know. To do that, I carefully click outside of the loop for upstream references, but before the next bookmark. I insert a couple of lines to give myself more space and then insert the field item dot no upstream message. Let me do the same for downstream references and associations. It is nice to see how many work items we have in each category. But also, I must say, in the current version of the application, it is a necessity to add a counter for the nested loops to work accurately and without nasty errors. So let's do just that. I'm adding a new merge field, item.upstreamCount, into the header and put it in brackets. Then repeat the process for downstream references. Item.downstreamCount. Finally, one for both types of associations. To see the outcome, I'm now heading over to CodeBeamer into System Requirement Specifications. Let's select three suitable work items and then export selection into Office with the help of our newly engineered template. I hit the export button and here we go. The template now displays everything that it's supposed to. Now this looks a bit less appealing than the default that's already available, but by crafting it piece by piece, you've gained the much needed insight to build the exact ones your company needs for auditors and customers. The description below will contain useful links to knowledge base articles, the Velocity script file and the finished template for your reference. Thanks for watching.